programming the audio moth. To program the audio moth, you will need a device with a speaker to play a sound. First, set the switch on the audio moth to USB slash off and ensure that the batteries are inserted correctly by checking that the positive and negative ends of each battery match the direction indicated on the audio moth battery terminal. Check that a micro SD card is inserted in the side of the audio moth. If you press gently on the micro SD card, it should eject smoothly. Make sure that the side of the micro SD card with metallic strips is facing up when it is reinserted into the device. Open the audio moth programming chime. The link to the chime can be found in the description below or by going to soundscapes2landscapes.org volunteers training materials for landowners and land managers subsection select reprogramming an audio moth device with a chime and then follow the link to the chime at the top of the PDF that opens make sure that the volume on your device is turned on move the switch on the audio moth to default the green LED will flash every two seconds while it waits for the chime to play Click the button that says click me to play the chime. Make sure to hold the audio moth close enough to your device so that it will be able to hear the chime sound. With successful configuration, the green LED will stay on continuously. It may be necessary to experiment with varying distances and volume settings until the green LED stays lit. Move the switch on the audio moth back to the USB slash off position until you deploy in the field. Note that the audio moth will lose its programming if the batteries are removed or dislodged and will need to be reconfigured following the steps in this video.